the hound and my gun Chasing them deer, rabbit and squirrel Now that's my kind of fun I like going fishing too I'll go on any whim Looking for the big bass The poppy and the brim Just give me a wide open field To walk through Give me an ocean so deep I want to ride the longest river in the world Or maybe climb the highest mountain peak Like going down to the fishing hole The buddies and me, I'm old cane pole Bake them hooks and wet them lines This life I love so fine It's almost supper time You'd think the world was mine And now for today's outdoor adventure, here's Archie Phillips. Well, folks, we're parked up here at the main dock at Smith Lake Dam and got Steve Kynard here with us. Now, Steve right here is a pro at a different kind of fishing that I've ever heard of, and we're going we're gonna to try some of it. And Steve, tell us what kind of fishing we're going to be doing. We're going to troll these uh, big saltwater stripe, Archie. Uh, this lake's been stocked about 15 years. We've got some big fish. Uh, lake record is uh, 46 pounds. And we're using an unusual rig today. It's called an umbrella rig. I think y'all I think y'all enjoy it. Something different, a little bit different. Okay. And we got we got Becky Fox here. She's gonna be the chief fisher woman. And and Mike, uh, I mean Mark Fox right here. Now Mark, are y'all ready? Oh yeah, we're ready to catch a fish. Y'all ready to do it? All right, well we're gonna we're gonna get out there and before we get started, uh we want to, Steve, you go over this in detail, how this rig works and why it works. And uh, the uh, this is the guff stripe that we're we're fishing for. I'm going to try it. And uh, they were put in here because they needed a, uh, I guess you'd say, a, a reserve of them so that if they ever got wiped out in the gulf, we'd still have a, a strain that we could... Uh, come back to and that what they said uh, right they, well they use them for their hatchery too them, this is yeah, where they come the they come get them for the hatchery plus they're a good open water fish and they take up a part of the lake that wasn't being used before i got you now now we're in a super nice boat now steve tell us how you are rigged up here with your boat here now it, it's got plenty of room in it yeah this is a polar craft it's a it's really a base series saltwater boat it's 19 long eight feet wide it's plenty of walking around room so we can fight these fish and uh, it's got a trolling addition motor so it's quiet and smooth and, and it works great steve, steve was telling me this motor back here it's a, it's a mercury for this trolling that you go along when it's under 1500 rpms only two pistons run, is that right? Yes, it runs off two cylinders. Two cylinders. That conserve fuel and, and keeps filing down and the plug filing and uh, just gives you a good smooth run. And then when you get up above 1500, it kicks in. You have plenty of power. Oh, that's great. Okay. Good motor. Uh, Becky, you ready? I'm ready. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this up. Let's get Steve in here and show us how this rig works. And then we'll be ready to go catch some stripes. That's right. All right. Now, Steve, this is the awfulest looking thing I ever seen right here. I ain't never in my life. That looked like something my kid had thought of. I know it. This thing was invented by a riverboat captain named John Sicori back in the 40s. And they use it out in the Gulf, uh, trolling for all types of schooling fish. It worked real good. It resembles a school of bait fish. When it's rolling. It comes through right? the water. Yeah, it comes through the water straight like this. And the fish, just, they think it's a school of bait. And they'll run up there. A lot of times get that one on the back. But this is really for stripe fishing. It's a four-arm rig two ounces and this is a medium <coughs> it'll run about 12 14 feet deep depending on how far back you run it. it's a good starting now which way is it when you're pulling it what's happening show okay. me show me what's happening we'll put it down in the water and we'll get moving we'll shoot a little footage on it but it comes to the water like this and you get a lot of action off these baits and all that rig don't scare the fish off no they're not hardware conscious these fish are open water fish and they, a lot of times they run up behind it and all they're seeing is these these twisters. They ain't paying no attention. No, they're not paying right? attention to this. This is a piano wire molded for a little it's spring got a little, action. Got a little spring. Right. Yeah, and you just snap these rigs on. Right. This is made up with. Uh, <coughs> you can use mono. We use a leader, steel leader, because they don't tangle as bad and they're a little bit stronger. And we just stair step them to give it kind of a, a different look. And uh, it works real good for stripe. Anything can be caught. That schools can be out in open water can be called an umbrella rig. If it's right. a crappie or white bass, it doesn't matter. I got you. Now, they get these rigs where now? Keith Hardware carries them, plus several other places around Birmingham and Coleman area. And then when you buy the rig, it's complete. Do they use them other places? 
they're are they available they're fairly nationwide? new in this they're fairly, fairly new in this area they are available uh, a lot of stores nationwide or will be seen uh it's a new called product umbrella rig called umbrella rig and i'll tell you folks now steve's one of the top guides on this smith lake fishing for these big stripes you caught a 39 pounder last week wasn't it? right and uh, right. we're gonna get out there today and let him go over this whole method of stripe fishing it's something it's like it's like deep sea trolling mm -hmm. inland and that mm -hmm. man, it, this is a good family deal. You can call old Steve, come up here and go fishing with him. He is a guide here, and he, how many can you take in your boat, Steve? Uh, it's ready for eight people. We'll take four or five at a time. Four or five at uh, a time. Whatever you want to put a party together, and uh, what works out real good. All right. Well, let's crank that motor up. It'll run half speed when we're trolling. I got to go. see that. <laughs> and let's go out there. And as, as the morning times better, it doesn't really matter. We have uh, pretty good luck all day. When the fish get down and stays on the points, we seem to have better luck than we do early in the morning. So, we, so we should should have a good day. We're going to have fairly low wind, uh, clear sky, and that seems to be good, good weather for trout fishing. That'd be good. All right, let's do it. Okay. You set that in the water, you just want to watch it, make sure it doesn't tangle up. On your first down, right? Yeah, when you first put it out, then you just count it back. And what I do, this level line, every time it goes across, that's 15 feet. And, and my thing is consistency. If I've got it back 100 feet and I get bit, I want to put it back out 100 feet. So I'm watching that. And that's uh, three, four, or five times across, six. That's about 75 feet. That's a good start. 50, 75 feet behind the behind boat. Behind the boat, right. Okay. And then we'll sit it in a rod holder. All right. And we'll put out two. We'll use two rigs. Two rigs, all right. And what I can do, if I spot the fish on the graph a little deeper, now this thing's running about 12, 14 feet, I can always just let it out a little further. That's another 30 feet right there. Now it's out about 100 feet. Now it's ready. Now when this thing goes off, it's going to be screaming. It's going to be pulling line. And what we want to do is keep trolling. Two reasons. We want the boat to bring the fish up. There's a lot of standing timber out here, and we don't even get in the tree. We'll let the boat fight him for a second. That fish will come up, and after that, he'll stay up. He'll stay on top, and we can fight him and get him in. Plus, we've got this other rig out. A lot of times, we'll go to the school, we'll get two fish if we keep trolling. I see. So okay. We'll, we'll let it go. What you want to do is get this thing out of the holder. You don't want to get on that line. That line will cut you. So when it's running, the fish on it, all you do is reach under it, one hand. Don't use this hand. Use this hand. Reach under it, and pull it out. And then you got him. And then you just hold him. You really, when you can. I'll pull him in a little bit, a little bit of pop action, not much. And just let him go when he wants to go. No setting the hook. No setting the hook. He's already hooked. Like it. And what we'll do, we'll put out a, that's a nine jig rig. It's a big rig, runs deep. We'll put out a five jig rig over here on the shallow side, which, you know, I'll run up on these points sometimes. And it'll run about 10 foot, and it's a good bait for early in the morning until we start seeing how deep the fish are going to run. We just use a clip, a little light saltwater tackle. 40 pound line, because sometimes you will get two or three, 10, 15 pound stripes at one time on one rod. So you need big line and a reel that'll handle big line. And you just want to put it in the water and make sure it's not tangled. That's all you want to do. And then just, just count it back. Just like it. Set it out slow, because this thing's heavy. This is about three or four ounces of weight. Let it out slow so it doesn't sink, get hung in the tree. And it's a good idea once you get it about halfway back, go ahead and get it in a rod holder. Because I have had I have had them hit it when it's in my hand. And it was about jerk the rod out of hand. So I'll go ahead and get it in a rod holder. And then I'll let it on back a little bit. Lock the reel. Check my drag. Make sure I got a smooth drag. The good Shimano reels have real smooth drags on. And uh, we'll check our boat speed. We're ready. We're fishing. They may be running at you, Mark. Yeah, they'll do that. You ain't lost him, have you? Uh, might. might be a shark. A shark? <laughs> a shark? Man. <laughs> it ain't a sea dew, is it? I see something swimming there, Mark. What we got? It's there he is. What is it? It's a, it's a small try. stripe. Let's yeah. try it. Yeah, I little thought that spotted bass first. Little strike. We're right out here kind of in the middle, too. Yeah, we are. There we go. How yeah. much of that weight, Dave? A couple of pounds. That's, okay. That's a good eating size. That's a pretty one. Yes, sir. There's a thousands of these in here. All right, thousands and thousands. 
come up here with him in the in the sunlight here just a minute. Let them folks see I want to get a good picture of what a lot of people think these are hybrid because they got that broken line. Yeah, that's, well, that, that's that gulf stripe. Gulf stripe, right. They, yeah. We don't have hybrid up here. Yeah. They, uh, they leave it a pure gulf, gulf stream stripe. All right, Peggy, what's going on, honey? Well, he's kind of acting like he's going to swim towards the boat. Just keep him good and tight. Well, he was way back there, wasn't he, Steve? Yeah, that fish was, uh, that bait was out about 120, 125 feet, probably running 18 foot deep. I don't know, Becky, what do you think? Feel a little know. bigger than that last one? I don't know. Look at that pretty fight. Yeah. yeah. I can bring him right in here. There you go. Oh, good fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. I beat you. Yeah, I believe she did. Look at that. Get away with your fish, <laughs> Becky. That's a pretty it. thing right there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Two pretty He's things. pretty. Look at that. We ate that. What'll it go, Steve? We ate that dig. That's probably seven pounds. Seven pounds? Around seven, yeah. Okay, all right. It's like a little male. Okay. There's a lot of these in here this size. I see. Got a fish on. He's coming up. I believe that's a body bass. I think it is? Yeah. He's come up to the top. You still got him? I think so. Yeah, I think I got him. I believe it's spotted bass oak because it broke the water way back down there. Yeah, I saw that. Well, these type will do that now when you put a little pressure on with that you big motor. So? Yeah, they'll come up. That's what we try to do is keep shoulder for just a second and get that big uh, big motor bring him to the top. I think Becky's going to still have the lead, though. So this one ain't that big. Yeah. I believe it's spotted bass oak. So. Let's see here. Well, I'm just glad to get your kind behind us. Yeah, that's right. You. Look at that. No, little, it's, little a, stripe. it's a little, little stripe. stripe. Of the day. Can you believe that? Now yeah. I'm planning on catching a 30 pounder. <laughs> Look at that right there. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, pretty. Get him out there. Look at Steve, you want to bring him in on that side? Yeah, let me get him right here. All right. Ease him up here. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty one. Yeah, a couple yeah. pounds. It's way too pound, boy. He's been eating good, hasn't he? Sure has done good. I gotta hold this umbrella rig good where it don't get all tangled up. Yeah, they'll do that a little bit. If you get loose, I'll hold this up. Yeah, he won't come out. He won't gonna come out. You got it where you can see where you're at now? Boy, he's hung in there good. Give me those pipes there you go, Becky. You know what I want, did Smart point. <laughs> <laughs> These are big hook for you, though. Five out hooking these things because the handle's a heavy fish. And they really get them hooked good, but it didn't hurt him. Yeah. He's in he good shape. Back, all right. I think he will too. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty little fish. Yeah. They can do his thing right there. All right, let's get him get over out here. Of your way. Get him over here. We'll turn him loose. All right. I don't believe you hurt him a bit. Nope, he's ready to go. We got a double. Hey, we got a double on. Yeah, Becky's got one. Look at it going know. around them telephone <laughs> poles there to try to get up there. You got to go all the way in front, I guess, Becky. Mark yours on. Yeah, I'm on. You feel the fish on, Becky? I don't know if it's hung on him. I don't think it's hung on him. Bring it in, we'll see. We'll see what we got. I know we got one on. You still got him on, Mark? Yeah, there's something on. No, you got some trash, Becky. Mark's got a fish. Yeah, you got a little piece of trash. Mark's got a fish on, though. Yeah, good strike. Yeah. He's mad. He saw the boat. He wants to run. The jig's got him in the back, it looks like. Yep. Oh, man, look at there. You got one in the mouth and in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that in the back got him. He can't do nothing now. I think he's the biggest one yet. I don't know. He's close. Long. Open your mouth, baby. Oh, still. He won't open his mouth. There he is. Well, he wanted to fight you more, but he got up here in that. What do you think happened on Becky's pole over there? Garbage. I think it had a little piece of trash on it. Like it yeah, I don't believe it was fish. Could have been, though. Could have been. Boy, that fish sure look healthy, don't they? They are pretty fish. I know one thing, you got twice as many of get hung in your elbows there. Yep. That's a pretty one. 
Smith Lake trolling with the umbrella rig. That's right. Easy fishing, isn't it? Easy That's fishing. Fine. <laughs> Easy fishing. Captain Steve here. Preserve that memory for a lifetime with a quality mount from Archie Phillips Taxidermy. With over 35 years experience leading the way in the development of the most modern and innovative methods of taxidermy, Archie Phillips can have your trophy back to you in four to five weeks. Durable, long-lasting color and accuracy is our goal by researching various species of fish and bringing it to you with the convenience of home delivery. Freeze your fish solid in a plastic garbage bag, roll them up in an inch or two of newspaper, put them in a cardboard box, and send him UPS on Monday. Outside the southeastern United States, send him second day air. Mark, Mark you meant what, tell me what he said. He <laughs> said when it comes up off that screen, he's going to hit it. And I said, we done passed over him. Do you remember? I told him we done passed over him. When it goes off the screen, there he fish. Right. And that's when it did. And that's exactly that's yeah. Man, it come right over that point in the same place, good Mark. Good. Is that better than what we've been catching? Tell Archie, don't guide you guide. I was, I was <laughs> fixing to break our number one rule, Mark. You know what our rule is. We don't guide the guide. <laughs> I believe that Mark, I believe that fish you got Mark. I believe you got a better one there, Mark. <laughs> a better one of, of the day? I know it's the best one of the day. Think he's, he's a really a good one? What do you think, Steve? Is that that big? Look I, ain't here, Steve. I ain't heard Martin Grunt yet. Steve, is that that big one that just fell off the screen you're talking about? Uh, yeah, I believe it was. Then they told Mark just as soon as it I goes pointed, off. That's the one I pointed to. Is as soon as it goes off the screen. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Boy, that's a beautiful little point right there. We're catching these things on, ain't it? That's right. Mainline but now, now tell, tell me what has happened. There you go. Oh, he ain't no tree, is he? No, he's just mad. Now tell, tell me how they got on that point and they wasn't there a while ago. Tell me about that. Well, he's fishing in the morning when the, when the wind's not blowing, they're out chasing bait. They're yeah. out feeding. And, and we have trouble finding them then. But when they get on these points, stack up, start taking their little siesta. Yeah. We'll drag a bait in front of them and catch them. Okay. Oh, look at that thing. Mark, you got a big one. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, man, yeah. Woo. You gonna, you gonna grab him with your gloves on? I'm gonna lift him. Oh man, look at that thing. Mark, that's, oh man. What a stripe, what a stripe. Holy oh, mackerel, yeah. look at that thing. Well, that's what we look Woo at. That. That's what we look at. That's wow. That's it. Wow, that's Mark. Hey, I am proud of you, buddy. Look, look how big that old fish is. That's Wow, we. Mark's a big old boy, too. Goodness gracious. We're going to call this one Becky because she had to leave. Yeah, we'll call that fish Becky. That would have been her fish. Look at there. That's right. Man. her time. What a striper root. Man. Lord, look at the belly on him, Mark. Look at there. You tell me he wasn't eating. Man. Let me get a polar roll. We'll get him back and get back on that point. Yeah. Let's see what he's going with. You still. 20. What did he weigh? No steel. 22.7. 22.7. That's a beautiful fish. Man. All right, now, Mark, here, we're going to uh, take a picture. You get a look at that thing. That's a monster. Now, Mark, I am proud of you today. That is <laughs> one fine stripe. Well, Don't y'all folks look at that thing. It's just luck of the draw. Oh, 22, 22 pounds. Hold that piece up everything, see that belly. And now we wound up with seventeen, didn't we, Steve? Se seventeen fish. Well and I won't tell y'all this. My little my little grandbaby, uh uh Jenny Goad, she told us about Steve Kennard here. And he uh, was nice enough to bring us out here fishing and I wanna say this about Jenny now. They almost had Steve's record at sixteen. <laughs> and we beat him by one but now Steve said that don't really count now because we, what, what time did they leave, Steve? Yeah, they had to leave at about 1.30. See, we, we we've hung in here. Yeah, we fished the dark. But I'm going to tell y'all, Steve here is a super guide up here on Smith Lake and with this umbrella rig. Now, folks, y'all saw it done. I wouldn't If I went in a store and saw this thing hanging on the rack up there, Mark, <laughs> would you would you have bought this thing? No. Looks would like you big, ever? Looks like a big hang-up to me. Yeah. I know. Would you would You'll, you, you'll would buy you, it now. Sure listen will. to me now. <laughs> would you have thought that a fish seeing it seeing this thing coming by he would have hit that never yeah i figured it'd run him I, off wouldn't you i never would have thought it and uh 
I'm sure we had we've been talking, Steve here. Me and Mark's our brains been turning over and over. Mark's my fishing buddy over there, and uh, we could probably rig this up for bass and crappie and and brim. Ain't no, brim. Ain't no but you'd have fish. To, yeah, you'd have to downsize it. Isn't that right, Steve? Yeah, you want to lighten it up. We're fishing deep and we're fishing for big fish. Yeah, and you would want to you want to use a little lighter rig, a little lighter jig. Uh, smaller grubs, uh, just lighten it up a little bit. You catch anything you want on it. And, and, and don't go buy one of these things unless you buy that little lead hickey that knocks it loose yeah. from the bottom. Yeah. Cause the time you retrieve. rig up, you're going to be spending $20, ain't you, Steve? Right. right. And we had, we had to unhook four of them today. Right. We, we, That'd have been, uh, $80 worth of. Right. We got, yeah. we got as close to the timber as you can get, and sometimes we got too close. Yeah. And that'll happen. If you're not getting hung, you're not going to catch fish. You right. got to get out there where the fish are. That's right. And man. you're going to get hung and, and get you a good knocker. And, and don't, uh, don't think that thing right there is too big either, right, Steve? Yeah. No. That, no. That great big old, uh, sassy shed looking thing with that, that's a horse head type horse head lure jig. on it. Big hook. And, uh, so we, we got all them, and we've had a super time up here on Smith Lake, and, uh, we're going to have uh, Steve's phone number and everything at the back. Uh, give him a call. He's, he's been a super guy, ain't he, Mark? Had a good time. Had a good time. Hey, listen, we, we, he, 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 my grandkids were just was just thrilled to death to come up here and fish with him. And like I say, you can bring your whole family, uh, granddaddy and grandkids, any right. combination you want to, right. husband and wife. And, and Steve's really good as a guy. He knows where he's at, and he knows what to do. And uh, I can't remember ever. Catching as many big fish in fresh water as we have yeah. today, so uh, we probably had ten over eight pounds, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And, the day, and the day after Fourth of July. Yeah, and, the day and after so we we got all the boats on the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they'd like to run them off the water. <laughs> hundred degrees. Yeah. Let me tell you, folks. <laughs> this is one day after Fourth of July, yeah. and it was hot out here. Let me tell you, hot. Yeah. You better bring a gallon and a half of water to right. come. Plenty of water. Because we've drank that thing, and we've even dipped them out of the bottom of the ice chest trying to get <laughs> trying to get some drinking water. So yeah. Y'all folks, uh, yeah. hope you enjoyed the show there. We, uh, we've enjoyed being with you, Steve. And, I've enjoyed it. Enjoyed doing the show with you. And, uh, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again and have some more fun. And y'all right. folks, stay tuned again next week for some more outdoors with Archie Phillips.